Owen, I, I, I see a lot of these bottles, and it, men it mentions on the bottles uh, Criantha. What, is, what does that actually mean? Criantha is uh, the aging process given to, uh, particularly to red wines. Uh, there's Vino Joven is your wine. Criantha is at a slightly aged, and Reserva means that it's been aged for four years. So it's basically a wine that has been elaborated a little bit, aged a little bit, and a lot more love and care given to it. So Owen, what can you suggest is uh, some interesting things to drink in this part of the world? Well, the wines uh, in Spain, traditionally the, the Riojan wines are very, very famous. Uh, but over the last few years, Rioja has taken very much a back seat to some of the newer wines. Uh, if you, for example, here's a Rioja wine. It's a wine that's a Crianza wine from the year 2003. Uh, Crianza means, if you see on the back, it's been fermented in the, in the barrel. After the whole fermentation process has gone, gone on, it's been aged in the barrel for another 18 months after the wine is actually made. It gives it an oak flavour and it adds a lot to, to, to the flavour of the wine. And the Rioja wines are very famous outside Spain. They're probably the most famous wines outside Spain. Uh, so, when I'm having a meal in this part of the country, should I be having red wine, white wine, or what sort of red wine? Well, traditionally the red wines in, in Spain are, are more popular. You can go back to the old thing of white for fish and red for meat. For me and for my liking, that goes out the window. I don't go along with that at all. I think that a good, strong red wine for lunch and a slightly weaker red wine for dinner. So, Owen, talk me through this beautiful, vast array of wine and other things you have here in your restaurant. Okay, well, basically, we have uh, some of the more important denominations of origin of the wines. We have the Navarran wine, which is this one, Nikea's Crianza, which is a wine from the town of Olite, just beside Pamplona. We have the Paragoto one, which we just looked at from La Rioja. We have two from the Ribera del Duero, which is a very up and coming. They're very, very good wines, they're very intense wines for lunch, not for dinner. Never drink them for dinner, you'll never sleep afterwards. And those are the reds. We have also Somontano. Somontano is one of the big stars at the moment. Extremely expensive wines, extremely good wines. This bottle will knock you back 165 euros in, in, in my restaurant which, you know, you pay for quality, what can we say? Then we have uh, a Chardonnay, Chardonnay wine from, from here from Navarra, and we have a Blanco, Blanco Rueda, which are the Vidura wines, the Vidura uh, grapes, excuse me, which is from the Galician area of Spain, and they're becoming very, very popular as well. After dinner, the Gran Figuro Moscatel, sweet dessert wine, they're becoming very popular there. They're the stars today. And we have our traditional Navarran Pachiran, a must after dinner. And so, Owen, we've seen the, the red wines, but what about the white wines? Uh, where do they come into the equation? I would serve whites as an aperitif. They're nice and light, they're crispy, they're sharp. Before lunch or before dinner, with a little bit of pinch of foie or a pinch of duck breast or something like that. Some nice cold white wine. Excellent. So we're going to serve this uh, Val de Bon wine, it's a Crianza 2003 from the Ribera de Duero, which is the area above Portugal, and it's from the, the valley of the Duero River. They're excellent wines, maybe a little bit too heavy for dinner, but wonderful for lunch. So it's very important to take away the lead at the top because a lot of people will go through the lead and yeah, we don't want to damage the cork and we don't want to certainly damage the wine. We, are, we open it nice and cleanly. Get yourself a good cork through, it's very important. That it has two actions on it. This is the first action. And there's the second action. You'll never break your cork. Your wine will be excellent. And so let's try it and see how we get on. We're here to, to sample some wine in your fantastic restaurant. And what's the name of the restaurant? The restaurant is El Arpa, which is the Spanish translation for the harp. Uh, it's me being Irish. It's one of the, if you ever see an Irish one euro coin, 
On the flip side of it, you have a picture of a harp. It's one of the Irish symbols, one of the Irish emblems, and I just gave it that name because... How long has your restaurant been open? Uh, the restaurant's been on the go for almost about, about 14 months now. We opened the bar downstairs uh, about 10 months beforehand, and uh, the restaurant a little bit a little bit afterwards. We had to make sure everything was right before we opened the restaurant. And I know last Saturday when I came in here the restaurant was crowded, we couldn't even eat upstairs here, but uh, how busy is it the rest of the time? It's always fairly busy, you know, it's, uh, it's getting to have a very, very good name, and which is very important for me. It's certainly a big ego trip for me. And uh, yeah, it's fun. We're, we're enjoying ourselves now. The first six months were difficult, but now we're enjoying ourselves. Excellent. And so this wine you're about to uh, sample with me, what, uh, what can you tell me about it? It's a uh, 2003 Crianza from the Ribera del Duero. It's an excellent wine. It's probably a little bit too heavy for dinner, in my opinion. Uh, because here in Spain, obviously, we eat dinner a lot later than we would in the, in the British Isles where at home we'd be used to having dinner at maybe 7 o'clock in the evening. Here we eat dinner at 11 or half past 10 at night. So it's a little bit too late for such a strong wine. But now this is a good time of night. We're a little bit after 7 in the evening. and It's not, it's not going to be bad at this time of night. It won't give you nightmares. Excellent. Well, are you going to pass me the glasses? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right. So what are you doing there? I'm having a look at the colour of it over the over white. You always look at the colour of wine over white, because and you can see from this, you can see that it's a perfectly clean wine. It's in very good condition. It's three years old. It's got another year and a half before it starts to deteriorate. It's wonderful, and you see how it clings to the glass. And it's an urban myth. People say that if it's got legs, it shows how much alcohol is in it. it doesn't it? It shows how much tannin is in it, and this. Just by looking at it, I know it's a good wine. Well, it tastes nice to me. And how, how old is this wine? This is? About three years. Three years old. Nice doesn't do this wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm only an apprentice. <laughs> uh, me too. That's an excellent wine. So tell me about Pamplona itself, is there a, a fair bit of nightlife here? Yeah, Pamplona is a, it's a young, vibrant city. It has two very, very big universities. Uh, I think there are about 180,000 people live here and 60,000 of those are students. So yeah, it's a young, vibrant, cosmopolitan city. And uh, I hear it's very different during the fiesta. Yeah, from the, well, from really the 5th of July until about the 15th. The, uh, the world and its mother goes crazy here. All right, and uh, they run the rules through the streets? They do, yeah. They, every morning at 8 o'clock, the, the, the firework goes off, the bulls get left loose, and a lot of brave people go and run with the bulls. I don't do it. And uh, so there's a lot of drinking and partying? And it's it's uh, 24 hours a day, for really 10 days, 24 hours a day. Uh, I close my bar for one hour a day to clean because otherwise it would be impossible. So your bar is open 23 hours a day? 23 hours a day. For the whole 10 days? 10 of days on the bounce, yeah. Oof. You must have to stack your money under your pillow. I tell you what. <laughs> 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 the, uh, the bank manager is usually smiling more than me on the 16th of July. Uh, it, it's a lot of hard work. You make some money, but you work very hard for it. 